last video we did the power feed the power feed yeah that thing now we are doing the power drawbar this is a luxury item you can get away perfectly fine in life not installing this but you know it's a luxury item and you know who doesn't like luxuries it increases efficiency with changing out tools that's its purpose now let's look at the kit and see how we're going to mount this thing so here's the kit it comes with the switch to actuate everything the actual unit the filter which is an oiler based filter so it oils and uh, filters the air so you have to put pneumatic oil in this and this is the regulator and a gauge it's about 90 psi some hose and attachments and drawbar and of course grease but let's talk about the drawbar the drawbar look here this is the old this is the new this takes a regular I think three-quarter something this is a splined end right and that splined end has chamfers so that when it goes in it makes engagement easier so that's that now for mounting this this mounts here, right? So that's how it goes. It comes with longer screws, and that's that. Now, the actual unit itself, it mounts on the plate, mounts just directly on top. You can turn it 90 degrees, and it uses the jacking screw holes. In putting this in, because I may forget, this shoulder, it needs to be 50 thousandths below the plate surface. So where this mounts, the bottom surface here, it needs to be 50 thousandths below that. Part of that is achieved by ordering the right drawbar for your machine. Okay? So let's get to installing. Okay, so I took this plate off and reoriented it. You could see where it used to be. And that way it fits nicely like so. Remove these two screws. Now, in the kit, it actually has some longer screws that replace these. So I noticed that even though these four were the same length, the threads were different. So you need to use these. They have the more coarse threads if you don't have a thread gauge. Okay, so I found that this orientation works best to get out of the way of the quill feed. And yeah, it looks slick right there. Like it was designed to be that way. So that's there. Let's see what we gotta do to the drawbar. Okay, for the drawbar, we have to grease some things. I'm assuming here, here, and here. Maybe oil, but definitely top and bottom of this. And what else? Now this one, I can grab this and it won't go anywhere. It's a pretty nice fit. This one on the other hand, goes all the way through. So. I'm going to have to, I'm going to hopefully be able to use some grease and kind of put it at the end 
So it can catch the spindle and register how it's supposed to. So that's what we're gonna do there. I'll turn you back on when we make some progress. Okay, so I have the draw bar greased up. I have it to the point where it'll stay so I can at least put it in. So let's see if I can balance. Yeah. All right, so we have to get that in here and then test whether or not It is 50 thousandths. Below. Okay. That feels pretty good. Now we need to check to make sure that this shoulder is 50 thousandths below this surface. Let me get my gauge. Okay, remember when you're doing this check you want to bring your quill all the way up and lock it. All right. So you come here. Uh, this is already set uh, around 50-ish. And we're about, we're good. Yeah. Yep. So we're good there. The way that the unit mounts is that there's some jack screws that is normally used to take off these plates. So you take these three, I believe they're quarter 20 screws out, and then you move them to these holes and you can walk this plate off almost. So we're going to use those to mount the Torquerite pneumatic assembly. But they come with screws for this, so you don't have to worry about taking anything off here. The only thing is that I have to grease this. So I can't hold a camera and do this at the same time, so I'll turn you back on when this is on so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is how it looks installed and good to go. So we are all locked in here. We're locked in here. Now it's just a matter of the air filter and the line. All right, let's see how those route. Okay, so we have this hooked up. This is just going to nowhere. These are the two important ones. So this in, that right there, the line to the left, the one that looks at this on the unit, it is the in. So that goes in here, and then goes here. And this one goes to the opposite. So that's how that mounts. And it's looking like an assembly. Now, we have to do some stuff to the air filter oil regulator thing. So this assembly, I've taken it apart. I've installed a gauge, and I've unscrewed well, unscrewed this. Looks like it's a little bladder with within a like an aluminum case. So we have to fill this with oil. I found this lurking around. So I'm gonna use this. And that's that's all there is to it. I just wanted to point out that you have to do this step and you have to prime the system. And you also have to add a few drips of this. All right, so you see how I mounted everything. This line goes that way, and this goes to your air regulator. So I've mounted the regulator, and we're gonna go take a look at that now, and I'm gonna give some quick tips as to cutting the line. So they give you a long length of this air line, which is a 3 8 So if you need more, you're looking at a 3 8 line and this was just good enough for me I found because I've cut it multiple different ways the cleanest cut is with a razor blade so that's what I used now I set up my air system for accommodating this 
already. So this line goes to my little air gun. And then one other is for, well, this system. So I've plumbed it accordingly. Yours may vary. So there's this flexible hose with a coupling on the end. It goes into there. But I have to prime the system first. But just to show you how everything looks, this is filled with oil to about there. I can always add oil by removing this and dropping it or I guess going through this little screw. I don't remember what this does, but it but it has access straight down. I think this is a drip screw. And this is your adjustment for your oil. This is your adjustment for your air. That's what the pressure is here. Doesn't mean that that's the pressure because there's going to be a pressure drop through this line. So, but this is going to be set to about 90. We'll start off with there. Now I have to prime the system. And I wanted to just show you everything. This is not going to get connected yet because this has air in it already. This works. So there is air in here. So let's uh, show you how this connects. This is real easy to connect. Oh, I also have to put a little oil in this. I want to show you how quickly these connect. This is a quick connect system. These fittings, I love these. So you can just pop that in. You'll feel it seat, and that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to clamp that down somewhere, maybe up high, out the way, something like that when I get to cleaning up everything. But this is on so I wanted to give a little extra room for when the RAM moves so that's why I have this longer alright so I connected the air and this pops up and you can adjust it so that's about 90 there I have to turn this counterclockwise to nine, which is trying to see over the camera, about there, okay? So that's the nine o'clock position counterclockwise that opens it up and then you're gonna see some drips. I'm gonna just push the in and out button and then you'll see some drips. We're looking for about seven. Now we're going to go clockwise. I don't know if you're able to see it too well, but I can see a little piece of dripping left. So now I'm going to go clockwise to two. All right, so we're primed. Let's try this puppy out. With these, there's still a, a few things you got to note or take reference to or keep in mind that when you install this, you can still cross thread this. So I'm going to put this in here, find where it seats in the little key, a little in like right there. I'm feeling the drawbar and then I tap on the in okay now it's engaged and then I can drive it home <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm happy all right so yeah that works and it's coming out oh you see this right there this is this is why look how fast that is Versus a hammer, the brake. Yeah, I'm not touching any of that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. That's the install. Fairly easy, fairly straightforward. 
Cheers.